A new age way to recycle your cell phones is meant to be good for the environment and a good way for you to make a little money. But some worry the real winners could be thieves. Our Team 10 investigator Jennifer Kastner visited Eco ATM's headquarters in Sorrento Valley to ask about these machines. Yeah, well, the company has more than a dozen of these machines around the city of San Diego, and there are thousands more across the country. A spokesperson tells us that less than 1% of the devices that are sold are stolen, but some cities have actually banned Eco ATMs because of security concerns. They're located in busy shopping areas in San Diego, like inside the Ralph Soft Sports Arena and the Fashion Valley Mall. We offer cash on the spot at our kiosk. We sat down with Chase Freeman at the headquarters for Eco ATM, the company behind these kiosks that buy unwanted devices like cell phones and recycle them. But it's a great, convenient thing for a legitimate consumer, but it really invites crime. I mean, it's an easy, quick way for bad guys to make money. Make money by trying to sell stolen or fake phones. Is your system bulletproof? Well, I don't think any system out there just to that end is bulletproof, but what I will tell you is we're very on top of every transaction. Eco ATM kiosks have been banned in Baltimore and in Riverside after backlash from law enforcement. This photo was taken in August in Las Vegas by a concerned citizen. Disregard the woman in the foreground, but see that stack of phones in the background? You can see the elbow, leg and shoe of the man off to the left who brought all those phones. So it seems that many of those devices were in fact um, fake devices. That day, the man sold 13 devices, but only four of them were real phones. Eco ATM says they didn't contact police because none of the phones were reported stolen. Eco ATM has now blacklisted him from making sales. Police say a 17 year old in Georgia used a stolen ID to cash in on 26 stolen phones, but she was caught and with Eco ATM's help successfully prosecuted. So every transaction that is um, conducted at a kiosk across the country is um, kept in a database um, that is available to local law enforcement. Eco ATM reports that in San Diego, out of the almost 9,000 devices it purchased, only 27 were of investigative interest and requested by law enforcement. San Diego Police Department couldn't tell us how many stolen phones have been found at Eco ATMs because it doesn't track the location of recovery. Get your device ready for your Eco appraisal. Freeman tells 10 News there are extensive security measures in place. A camera takes your photo while your driver's license you. is verified, and for many kiosks, you have to provide a fingerprint. Live agents are constantly monitoring all transactions. The company says nationwide, sale of stolen devices is a very minor issue. It's something that does not happen frequently at all. Um, a fraction of a quarter of a percent um, is pretty small when you look at the 23 million devices we've diverted from landfills. And for more information on how to track stolen devices and what to do if your device is stolen, go to 10news.com and click on this story. In the studio, Jennifer Kastner, 10 News.